everybody and welcome to the den here we have an overview of all the bits of scenery that uh, you can use in Oversworn into the deep wood now the game itself doesn't have a huge amount of scenery elements uh, you know so um, it's uh, you can get the scenery box which has got trees and walls and um, bits and bobs like that so that's about it but this is the uh, the equivalents and some different ideas uh, to, to use in the game along with some card holders and bits and pieces so now I have done a number of shorts little sort of uh, bite size videos on the channel which uh, show some of the elements so you can also have a look at those so we're not going to dwell a huge amount of time on the on the pieces themselves but uh, just to get across the, the basics uh, for more details about how to obtain them or information on them then uh, have a look in the description uh, on the YouTube channel and, uh, and it'll all be there for you. Okay so what we'll start with first of all then is card holders. Now we know that there are a number of characters and they have all their own cards and everything and we get those bags that are supplied in the game which I didn't find much use to be honest with you. I think they could have been sort of cloth bags or something and they seem really tiny as well that were going to split. Um, and so here is a card holder. Uh, in this case it's got the whole full pack of cards for the Ranger. And here we have the Ranger in there. And these are the sleeve cards. So lots and lots of room in there for sleeve cards. Also quite deep so you can put additional cards in there. Now, I'm, I'm not a big I haven't played this game a great deal at all, so um, I'm not to any point where I need to keep extra cards. So there we have all the sleeve cards and they just pull out like that and it'll pop back in. Now there is a little bit of a sort of a, um, it's what happens when uh, you do, uh, bridging doesn't work so brilliantly. Um, you get so sort of little swirls of uh, filament and actually rather than clip those out, which is easy to do, I kept those in uh, and it, it helped keep the cards in, see, so all the cards are locked away there. So those are the card holders. This one's in grey, um, but I don't do with the, the grey material, it's very difficult to get a good grey material. So the ones that um, I've been using on there and producing are the uh, black, they've got black ones, and also for a period uh, the clear ones, ones that use the clear filament, don't necessarily print clear but uh, opaque. Um, so that's the card holders, uh, which are very, very handy, stack nicely and go away there. The other thing the game made is the player board. Now, a number of different player boards. I'll, I'll bring out the black ones here. So here we have a main player board, so the card will fit in the middle there. And all your cards, rotational cards, can do that. We'll put some numbers down the side so you can rotate them. And also side slots here. There's plenty of room on there for tokens. I did look at doing card holders that had token trays attached, and the whole thing got really big. And these are, you know, these are quite hefty and take for ages, ages to print. So you know, there's a fair bit of weight in in those, in filament and so on. So they take some considerable time. So those are your sort of main boards. But as you know, you can have the uh, smaller boards where it just contains the. Ranger card there and then you can have some cards uh, going on there. So lots of good little slots on there. Uh, you can also put tokens in there as well but there's plenty of token uh, space on there and I hadn't done token um, containers or anything like that. Now once again they're generally in black. I've done those in black. I've also tried them out in uh, clear as well or opaque uh, for those uh, just to try those out, and um, I prefer them in black actually, so um, yeah, there we are. So th those work really well on there. Good, so actually onto the scenery now. Well, let's start with the sort of the box set scenery, and those are trees. So the design here you have are three trees, um, all occupying that, uh, that space for the trees and uh, three different types of trees there. Now there is some video on showing that these done up let's have a look and uh, we'll pull these through here so here are your trees there's uh, one particularly dressed and there's the PLA equivalent 
So pretty spooky looking trees. So those are the trees that you can uh, get in. Then you've got the walls. So I've gone for uh, th the three hex walls, which is like the three piece, and sort of broken down walls. So you can dress this as you see fit on there. And that's a dressed one as opposed to undressed one. Okay, so you get those as well. Uh, might have noticed in the thing there was the four hex ones. Now they aren't in the game. This was just me getting carried away and having four hexes. So you'll probably see those in the pictures and go, well, look, they've got four hexes. Um, no, no, that, those, are, <laughs> those are those are just sort of misprints, as it were. So you have the trees, you then have the walls, which go in there. Then you have the buildings. Now, um, there is some detailed uh, videos on the buildings which show close-ups of the buildings and so on because the problem with the buildings is that the buildings that come with the game, if you've got the cinema books, are huge. It's about the scale of the game and there's gonna, you've got to have some poetic license to that scale. You can't, you know, if you made everything to that scale, you'd have huge uh, additional things. So I've gone for more thematic and uh, replacements to the houses. So there are two houses, um, which once again, have a look at the videos. There's one of them, they are resin. They are coming in resin. One comes in a, a couple of parts there, which you just very simply assemble. Um, and also the tumble down one. And once again, you know, more detail and pictures on the, uh, on the links. Now they all come with the base. So you can put them where you want on the base. In addition to that, they come with a selection of trees, uh, resin trees, which once again, you can place around the model as you see fit for your designer. And these pieces actually fit onto uh, the same size as the game board. So that's the equivalence. Now, some of the other things that I showed on there were some more diagramas. And whilst they're not the buildings, many people would like to perhaps dress their game setting differently. And we're looking for some different bits. So one of the pieces out at the moment, and you have to keep an eye out on the uh, where I put them, uh, was the, well, it's the Angel of Death, basically. So we have the Angel of Death in the middle of this one. We have a big archway with some cobwebs. And, uh, and I've got a thing about spiders. I had quite a few spider models. <laughs> So I use spiders a lot, as you probably see. So that was one of the dioramas. Now these will come up occasionally. Um, have a look, and uh, there are a couple of other different ones in the works. But these these just add a slight different dimension to your to your layout. Um, however you want to uh, build your world. So those were the di dioramas. I hope I've got the pronunciation right on there. Then we move on to the other uh, card uh, representations, and that is tiles. Now, before I come on to these larger tiles sat in front of you, um, there are the tiles. Now, these are the 3D tiles. You tend to find that they're either going to be on the board as singles, or they're going to be in a, uh, a format. And the frames make all the frames, so we have the frames there, and then you can uh, place the tiles and they lock in and these have all been dressed and there we have them and they will sit in there like that you can just build up whatever it is that you're doing alternatively you can just have them singly on the board now when you have got those up and we have the gas ones we have the lava ones and we have the uh, water ones now I've gone and put resin skulls in there and dressed them and stuff which made them quite high now we know that the heroes and people stand on these so and also some tiles can be on the top of other tiles so what I have there is risers so we have a little riser and these are separate so let's say for instance we've got a lava tile at the bottom and we want to put a lava and gas tile not sure if that's possible but let's say it is there's a little riser there so you've got both tiles in place on there and the same for the you might want a gas one on top of the water one and once again you've got a little riser there and you can put both of those on there now what how about if you want to make sure that your hero or or a character is going on there so there's a larger riser 
and that will go on top there and then you can place your hero model on the top of that as you go around so that gets over the fact that they are flat obviously I want to keep the relief on them so so those tiles all fit into these frames um, which you get as a cardboard uh, frame so they'll be um, all the all the tiles are in in certain pack numbers and there we have the uh, and you get a, a few of them with different risers and bits so that's how the basic tiles now the only other additional to that is the tile set and I did show this on the video uh, this was um, a number of frames six frames that you can use to tile your whole game <laughs> so it's about 181 tiles I think it is for the whole game and you literally lay them down and um, you know dress them as you see fit you can use the tiles that uh, I've mentioned just before to place in there and then that once again there is a video showing those in but the key thing is that all the components whether it's the walls or the trees or the buildings and let me get one of let's get this diorama here and hopefully you see that on the camera fit into those frames so your whole thing can be like i say this is the complete board experience the tiles aren't as hard to uh, paint on masses as you might think and then individually dressed down i went for all sorts of different ideas and bits and pieces so everything interlocks to make up your whole game board that is everything um, uh, for the Oathsworn set. Uh, and like I say, have a look at the little videos that I made just to see some more close-ups. Have a look at the pictures. Once again, any details, anything that you need to know, um, then have a look at the description. And it's all in there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.